Hello, you found Trish with Crafting Whimsy, and I'm here today on September 30th, 2024, to share my Junk Journal Madness um, Vintage Sewing Journal to include nine items and to make seven items, and I probably did more than that. I'll try to remember to show them to you. Here's my journal. There's a little flower. That's one of the items to include, which is a, um, you know, a flower. I forgot what, a crafting flower. Here's, um, this is a actual um, measuring tape. And here it is. This is where I keep this. Here's my slow stitch. Here's my slow stitch. And a digital. Here's a cluster I made. And I, there's some fabric and a tick, a label that I included. And there's a paper doily and there's some more sewing. And another cluster, there's a postage stamp. Here's just a digital. Here's a little pocket, and it was a fold over. And this is from, um, oh, those sketches, junk journal sketches that I made. And here's another cluster. Some more sewing. There's some thread. And look at this. I included a sewing kit. It was just old. Here's a button and a postage stamp book pages. Here's some ephemera in case they wanted to add more or do something in a belly band. The belly band is something that I needed to have, which was a, hmm, this is a horizontal, yes, and a file folder. And then the page for journaling. And here's a paper clip, but there's a little cluster with a safety pin because it's so cute. And a, um, some, a ruffle. There's fabric, but this is lace and some twine, but if you turn over here, then here's a little tag that you can journal on. More journaling, another fold over, and then I have a hidden journal, except it's not very hidden because it won't stay. And then here's a tag, and this is my little pocket. That it was so cute from a brown paper sack. And then here's a belly band. I'm sorry, this is not a belly band. This is a little tuck spot, and it has a car, a altered playing card, and then just a little ephemera and some thread. And I put, this is cracking me up. And there's my, I put it with a safety pin because I couldn't not because it has safety pins on it. So cute. It's just a little tag. You could journal on it on the back of it if you wanted. Ledger paper because everybody likes ledger paper. And here's my first signature center. And here's some journaling tag, um, big giant blue tags. And a cute, it's one page I cut and put in the middle. Here's a coffee filter. And there's some, a picture of my friend's vintage. She wouldn't give me the bias tape, but she gave me a picture of it. Here's another belly band in a little pocket. And the pocket has a belly band. That's something that I made to include. And here's the pocket. And it has more of these little tags. And I sewed on all of them somewhere. So it was just for fun. Now, I don't know if the strings are good, but I left them on. Whoever gets this journal, who is probably nobody, because I haven't been able to release them out of my own ownership, then maybe they'll take them off. And here's some more lace and one of those cards. Here's a paper doily. And here's some more. There's a ticket and some tags so cute here's another paper clip and this paper clip has actually got a library pocket with the um journaling spot tag and you could even journal right there and so i clipped it whoops i clipped it on with a paper clip and here's a just a little page but it has on a piece of a pattern a sewing pattern and i just folded it over because i thought that was fun and here is a receipt it's an old receipt from Hobby Lobby. I got some fabric, and I embellished on it. You could, um, what do you call that? <sighs> Journal, and there's a little tuck. And if you flip it, it's so funny because this tuck goes to the other side, and it has another journaling tag. And then here's some more ephemera with a little cluster that I made. And there's the, look at this. I made this one. It's so lovely. Four whole buttons. And I put it in there with a 
clothes pin because you know it is about clothes you most people sew clothes here's some old buttons i found oh they're made in thailand but i don't know when um i got them at the resale shop and this is a hidden paper clip and there's a paper clip that i made that i finally got to work this is just a folded page that got messed up and so I put the buttons on there to be so cute. They're very cute. And notice he's got some thread. He's jumping over the thread like Jack be nimble, that little guy. And then I'm going to there. And now this is actually a notepad. And it's so funny because there's a notepad on both sides. And I put it together. There's some magnets behind there, so when you close it, it stays. I wasn't so smart about that paper doily, but there it is. And here's a rosette that I made, and there's some more lace and a button. So fun, and I made him pretend he was doing that. Now here's a little regular pocket with a tag for journaling. And this is just a little page. And this was my, I love this one. This is a second signature, and look at that. I put scissors in there. I should have actually cut them out twice so they look the same on the front and the back, but I did not. This is a journaling tag, and I picked this one because you can see the thimbles. I thought that looked cute. So there's that, and here's another tag. And this is actually a real um, vintage ribbon or trim. What is this called? The packaging of it. And then this is just a little pocket I made with a journaling card. Just something cute. But look at, here's the secret pocket. Let me see if I can, there it is. It's got the old button in there. Secret pocket, secret journaling spot. Here's a tip out. Look at that tip out. How cute is that? All that journaling space. And here's another pocket with some ladies. I didn't, um, distress all of it or ink all of it, I guess, because some of it I just didn't want to. And I made a little secret pocket, but I left it poking out because I figured nobody would look like that other pocket. And here's a cute embossed um, silver paper and some more tags that are um, so cute. And then here's another belly band. And I actually painted, I painted this one with paint because I was so looking forward to painting. And there's some ephemera. And there's some more with some tool. And here's a pocket in a pocket and a tag. I didn't, I should have made this one the other way. And you know what I forgot to show you? I forgot to show you my dangle. Look at this cute little dangle in the middle of my signature. Because we're almost to this signature. That's why I say that. And here's another piece of pattern. And here's another paper clip. I got a real button in there. And this is just a hidden um, paper place to journal. I'm going to put this back on here. If I can seem to make myself. My fingers don't work every day. It's been raining really bad here in Kentucky. It hasn't rained today, but it doesn't seem to matter. My fingers are not working the way they can. I figured out about the paper clip. So there's that. And then here's, and this is the middle of the signature, and here's my other dangle, and it says, handmade, or I'm sorry, made with love. On that little dangle, here's some more pattern paper and a journaling spot. Here's just a fun page that's decorated with a ruffle that I sewed and some little, what is that, thread on the thread holder. Look at this belly band. It's a vertical belly band, but it's not in the middle. And I just put these old um, ends of a thread. So that was fun. I put a paper ruffle made with pattern paper and I got 
a Rolodex card up there, and another paper clip, hardened paper clip. And look, I found these extra buttons in the sewing kit, and they actually came in here. So I left them, and I just put them in the journal because I thought that's kind of fun. And then I made a tag, and I cut that cute one out. Look at $1.17. Who knows when these were bought at the Kmart? But, you know, if they haven't been used yet, and some were, I decided that they could go in the journal. <laughs> so exciting to put those snaps. And here's another altered um, playing card. It was my first one, so lovely. And a little end of a thread. And here's some more. And I actually used the embroidery needles. I used the packaging. And then there's some more muslin and some lace. And here's another, look at this. I have this thing lately about belly bands not where they're supposed to be because here's this one. And I actually glued it in the middle because they wouldn't stay. So now I know they'll stay. And look at, here's another, this was the best one I made. This is another, of course now it's stuck. Here's another, um, and I put a button on both sides. It's an ultra paper clip. I think I got four of them in here because I got carried away with trying to make them so perfect. That's the perfect one. It's in the back. And then here's the last page. And here's some more journaling cards. Just old vintage things with some vintage things. And then I have a secret pocket. And in the secret pocket, I have a journaling card. But then I have these that they could cut apart. And they're just pictures of old things that they could make into journaling cards. So I put those in the hidden pocket. I had such a good time. I could have made four more or five more. I could have made four or five more signatures. This has been my favorite journal ever. I really dreaded this because I didn't, I was like, I am not going to be able to do this. Oh my God, I love this one. This was the best one ever. I loved it so much, I didn't want it to end. And I actually worked on it way more than I, like, I had it done. And I was, I still have things I didn't have room to put in here. I had a great time. Susan, this is my favorite challenge of all time. Now, I've only been doing this stuff since January, and I'm really not good at keeping up or being serious. Because I went on vacation when my husband retired every week for weeks. But let me tell you. This is so fun. This journaling stuff is, it's, I love it. It's the best. I gotta fix that. But I am so happy um, to be in this challenge. I'm gonna try really hard. I've been working on some Halloween things. I'm gonna be, work really hard to um, do a better job, do a much better job sharing my items. Um, I will say that I included all the other ones. One, two, three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty things I made. And then it said nine things to include one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, and I could keep going, but yeah, I included all of it. And I want to mention that I did get my printables and I got them off the internet and they were free. I got them from Drew Cortez at Vintage Glamour One at WordPress.com, the Art Scavenger.com. I got some from Line.Arrow. I don't know if I used hers or not. Nonstop Paper Crafts, same thing. I'm not sure if I use theirs. Artistic printables for you. Artsy Fartsy Life, that's Tara Jacobson, and Gina Hubbard Designs. And I got, I just printed them because they were free. And so I was very lucky. And I had a great time. I would make this journal again. Um, I want to thank Susan. I want to thank all the people who watch my channel. Thank you for um, liking and subscribing. And if you enjoy it, please, I'm working on 100. I'm over 70. So now I'm getting closer to 100 every time someone subscribes. I hope you have a great day. Happy crafting. And I will see you in the next video. And remember, tomorrow, I Turtly Love It will give us the next Junk Journal Madness theme for October. And I think she said we're going to take November and December off. Or December and January. I can't remember what she said. But either way, we'll find out the next theme tomorrow. And I hope you have a great day. 
and happy crafting, and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks for watching.